All right. Um, you know, in this video, I want to just give give a just brief overview of the peripheral nervous system, um, and then go a little more in depth to certain topics uh, later on in other videos. Um, you know, with the with the peripheral nervous system. So remember, in other videos, we've discussed the central, the, the divisions of the nervous system, the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system. Remember, the CNS, the central nervous system, consists of the brain and spinal cord. Okay. And this is, you know, like I said, you know, you think of the brain and spinal cord as the processing aspect of our body. You know, this is where basically we um, unconsciously and consciously process information about the world, about the world, the, the, our inside world, you know, everything about the internal aspects of our body and also about the outside world. Okay. You know, so basically the central nervous system is taking information um, about the world around us and inside of us and trying to make sense of it. And, you know, and the peripheral nervous system is about getting the information into and out of the central nervous system. Okay. So the peripheral nervous system basically can be broken down into two major divisions, or to two, not divisions, we'll say, to, into two major parts, um, into a sensory part and a motor part. Okay. And you think of the sensory aspect, um, of the, of the peripheral nervous system as basically detecting changes in our environment. Okay. And we think of those, you know, a good word to describe those changes in our, of our environments are as stimuli. They are a stimulus, you know, singularly. Okay. So basically there are various stimuli that can upset or disrupt our homeostasis. And we need to be able to figure that out. We need to be able to, uh, you know, detect that. Okay. And, you know, and we use sensory receptors, okay, to basically pick up changes in our environment, okay, and I'll talk much more in depth about sensory receptors later on, but that's what, but, you know, that's what we use this for. So sensory receptors are constantly detecting changes in our environment and then relaying this information in a specific fashion to the central nervous system, okay, to be processed. All right. Um, and we would say that the sensory part of our peripheral nervous system is afferent or people say afferent as well. Um, OK, so when you see the word afferent, think of, you know, moving towards an object, moving towards the main object. OK, so that's what the sensory nervous. That's what the sensory aspect of our peripheral nervous system does. It sends information about changes in, in our home, in our environment to the central nervous system. OK. And then the central nervous system is constantly, you know, receiving, integrating, and interpreting this sensory information. And then what it does is it, we, it plans out a response because we have to be able to respond to these stimuli. Okay. If we're unable to properly respond to stimuli, then that's, well, disease. We get sick. Okay. If we can't regulate our homeostasis, our physiologic balance, okay, we can't, we can't self-regulate on our own. Okay, we're going to need medical intervention to do this, okay? Um, so as a result, the central nervous system will plan out a response, okay, an appropriate response. And then it's going to send action potentials out through the motor aspect of our peripheral nervous system, okay? And motor nerves, motor neurons branch out from the, from the brain and the spinal cord out to specific tissues, Okay, to motor ends. Okay, you know, these motor endings. Remember we talked about the parts of a neuron, the synaptic terminals at the end of the axon? That's the motor endings. Okay, so the ends of those motor neurons. And they're going to stimulate some kind of reaction. Okay, they're going to, you know, some kind of reflex. I mean, that's how we regulate our homeostasis is through reflex type activity. Most, re you know, reflexes are unconscious reactions to changes in our environment. Okay. And when it comes to the motor aspects of our peripheral nervous system, there's the somatic aspect of it, okay, basically nerves going to your muscles and your skin, okay, and then we've got the autonomic nervous system, abbreviated ANS, okay, and the ANS consists of the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system, and I will lecture more about these in the following week when we get to the autonomic nervous system. But basically, these are divisions of the nervous system that really help us respond to stress, okay, to respond and to recover from, you know, from dealing with stress, okay? So in a nutshell, the per like I said, the peripheral nervous system is there just to monitor and, you know, to monitor, you know, various, you know, our external, our external and internal environment by detecting stimuli that can upset our homeostasis. 
and then they send then these sensory neurons, you know, generate action potentials to the to the central nervous system, and your brain processes this information and then figures out the appropriate response, and then we send action potentials out via motor neurons and compensate. We deal with the stimulus. Okay, we want to try to deal with that because remember. Most of our most of our homeostasis revolves around negative feedback loops. Okay, I mean there are some positive feedback here and there. Okay, but remember negative feedback a receptor. Okay, and then a control center, and then an effector organ of some sort. You know, carrying out the response to negate the stimulus. And then once the stimulus has been fixed, then we don't need to respond anymore. Okay, and I'll make some videos later on talking more to negative and positive feedback. Okay, but realistically, in a nutshell, that's the peripheral nervous system. You know, the sensory motor aspects of it. Okay, sensory receptors are transducers that pick up changes in our, you know, stimuli in our environment. Then we use peripheral nerves to branch out to our effector organs, or there are peripheral sensory neurons that go into the central nervous system. And then we've got motor endings at the target tissues so we can carry out a response to deal with stimuli. I mean, in a nutshell, that's the peripheral nervous system, the branching out from the central nervous system to our tissues. All right. And in the next video segment, I want to talk, you know, a lot more about sensory receptors and basically, you know, some properties of these and basically how we classify various receptors of the body.